Good morning. Okay, so today I'm going to Bletchley Park with the girls. Um, anyway, um, so I'm wearing just a grey t-shirt, skinny jeans, and that's it. Shoes, obviously. Um, um, yeah, but I'll take you guys with me. Should be a good day, so we'll see. See, this is your typical British summer. It's going well, it's supposed to be 18 degrees today, and yet it's cloudy and pouring with rain and muggy and horrible and nasty and just ugh, so British. Okay, guys, so I am not enjoying this road trip one little bit. The weather is disgusting. I don't really know where I'm going, and I keep following the wrong roads on the sat nav. And my wisdom teeth are hurting so much that my head, I feel hungover. Like I have such a bad headache, and I have no paracetamol on me, so I'm gonna have to wait until I meet up the girls. Ah. Lots of people loving him. It's finally, a decent song on the radio. Shocked at how cheap it is up here out of London. <laughs> or could be shocked. It's only about ten pounds each. In London, it would be like double the price. So we're really happy. <laughs> okay, so we're at Bletchley Park, and um, there's the house over there. And then there was some music just playing, but it's just stopped. Time of day. Okay, so the mansion behind, that is where it all started before they had the huts that were built, which are just over here. Um, and they started with 200 code breakers um, in a little room, which you can see. And then they built all the huts. And this is a bomb machine. Um, and we got to see 
the bomb, which was um, the big machine that cracked the codes um, that Alan Turing built. And um, yeah, it wasn't the original because they they like destroyed all the original ones, but they basically worked with veterans in the 90s from 1997, I think it was, onwards. And then they finished it in 2007. They worked with them to um, basically create a new one. It took them 10 years. I mean, to think it took them 10 years to do it now, when in the 1930s, 40s, it took them, well, like months instead of years. It's just incredible and just shows how smart these people were. Um, so yeah, really good day out. It was nice to do something a bit different because, I mean, with the girls we always kind of do afternoon tea or dinner or drinks or events. We don't really like have days out like this and it was really, really nice to do something different. Um, so yeah, I could definitely recommend it. It was really good and it's only like a 45 minute train journey from London as well. So it wasn't too bad on the train for the girl. I'm driving obviously because um, it's easier. But yeah. Anyway, and it's crazy to think that that was basically like the first computers they created, the first computers, and now look where we are today. It's insane. Um, anyway, I'm really tired now. I'm gonna go home. I quite fancy watching Enigma now. Um, Imitation Game. I've seen that. I saw that recently. So, whereas I haven't seen Enigma for a while, so I might go home and watch that now. The life of a dog, hey? He literally sits all day and just like has his chin resting on this low ledge and stares out of the window. Don't you, Dylan? Where's he gone now? I'm going to show you guys what happens when I ask Dylan if he wants to go outside. Dylan, do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside, Dylan? Sit down. Good boy. No barking. He always runs to that far corner of the garden and there's a hole at the back and he just goes and stands there and I don't know what he does. And then he'll eventually have a walk around the garden and then just come back inside. And that's it. That's all he does. And then, two minutes later, he wants to go back out again. And he just does the exact same thing over and over again. Like, all day. Yeah.